Oh, me? Okay, hang on. Get the creepies. Okay, yeah, you have to go in the other room, I think. Nobody's moving. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Oh, Are you going geez. to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. Haha. Uh -huh. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we are not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. <laughs> I told you the quest of the never ending backstory. Uh, very well. You may enter. Consider yourself a hardcore slacker if you're sitting through all this. And I'm including it just for those who like to see backstory there. I know there's a lot of people who do like to see backstory in video games. We've taken that, or rather put that to a vote many times. And pretty much those who want to see backstory outnumber those who don't, believe it or not. So, it's the way it is. Hey, people. Okay, let's say we ordered an all-dress with uh, anchovies and pepperoni and... Eh, okay, whatever. It. Oh, did I sit too soon? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Who are we waiting on? Delphine, get your ass in gear. Come on. Jeez. We're all waiting here. Now that everyone is ah, here, there go. please take your seats so we can begin. <laughs> I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Yeah, now, boys. Carlos Hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Damn! All this drama, everybody just shut the fuck up, sit down, and let's get on with it. Come on. Uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Okay, I agree. This will set the tone for the whole negotiation. Elowin should go. Let Talius have his way on this. He'll ha yeah, like, you know, just come on. Go along to get along, right? Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. Damn straight. I'm dragging for to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Oh, Frick, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. <laughs> no. Not this time. You're not sitting. That that there we go. May we proceed? Yeah. I have something to say first. Oh boy. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yeah, like he said. Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Yes. Police. Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. 
We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Yeah. Zing! But, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Yeah. Jeez, here we go. <laughs> Winterhold seems like a fair trade. I don't know, AC Ducey, what the in hell? In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrik. Plus all the mead we can drink. Oh, that's what it's all about, eh? <laughs> Listen, you asked my opinion. Okay, let's go for the... Uh, there are advantages to gaining Winterhold Persuade. Yeah, let's go for the Persuade option. Just get them to shut the fuck up and continue. Winterhold would allow us to directly right, speed threaten decrease. the rebel cool. supply lines out of Windhelm. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. I don't blame you, Dragonborn. You made the best of a bad situation. But I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his time. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does That's it have to do with you. I don't know about the end of the world. But this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Sores, bones, where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for this your butchery at... 
All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. You've been even-handed so far. What do you say to our demand? Uh, <laughs> cut the baby in half. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, Alfred should compensate you for Karth wasting. What's who's to say what happened at Karth? Wait, okay. Alfred should compensate you for Karth wasting. Well said. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial troops to enter Winterhold, Courier will replace Kraldar as Jarl. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. Done? You both agree to this? Please. I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. Ugh. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. Good. And you? But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember, Evgir Unsla. Right, 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 okay. You should be pleased, Elisif. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. Ah. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. Okay. I anticipate it. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an okay. unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. And how the fuck does that help us just get on with it, please? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. Okay. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. And why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So, what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Odavin. Odavin. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'd give a week's pay to see the look on Ulfric's face again. When he had to swallow the terms of the truce. There's one more thing. Hey, one at a time here. We know about Parthenax. In, turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. Yeah, okay. Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, 
I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continued to help you. Oh, jeez. Okay. What's the app against Greybeards? About Parthenax. What's so important about being Dragonborn? Who are the Thalmor? Forget those two. About Parthenax. Uh, let's just get out of here and take a look at our quest map. Or rather, our quest list. The Fallen Prepared Trap for Udaving or Parthenax. This is entirely optional as I understand it, so fucking I'm not going to do it. We're going to stick to the main quest line. Uh, that was my objective in the beginning, and that remains my objective now, my personal objective. So let's get the fuck out of here. Enough with the negotiations. Let's try to get back to the action as quickly as possible. Hang on. Would that involve action? Yes, it would, but then again, um, I don't want to piss off the old men, which is what it's ultimately going to do since Parthenax is their leader, right? Right, no, so we're not going to do that. Um, let's just get out of here. Get out so that we can fast travel somewhere. Um, yeah, all right, out we go.